senior official telling Fox that a high-level meeting between the United States and Israeli officials is now off after Prime Minister Netanyahu made this video yesterday. Watch. It's inconceivable that in the past few months, the administration has been withholding weapons and ammunition to Israel. Inconceivable that the ally of the United States would withhold weapons and ammunition from Israel is what he had to say there. Axios reporting that top Biden advisors are, quote, enraged by this video. And the White House tells Fox that it had no idea what the prime minister is speaking about here. And they plan to reschedule this meeting. Brett Baer standing by with that and more. But first to foreign correspondent Trey Yinks live in Tel Aviv with the very latest on all of this. Hi, Trey. Hey, Martha, good afternoon. A feud is unraveling between Israeli and American leadership over weapon shipments to the Middle East. This week, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu released a video slamming the Biden administration for withholding thousands of bombs for fighter jets. Now, in response, the Americans canceled a scheduled meeting with Israeli officials, according to a source familiar, something the White House denies. The Americans have expressed concern over U.S. weapons being used in Gaza, where the civilian death toll continues to rise. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken responded to Netanyahu's comments, saying this. I'm not going to talk about what we said in, uh, in diplomatic conversations. I can, just say, um, I can just say, again, that... Um, we have a commitment to make sure that Israel has what it needs to defend itself against a whole variety of threats. That commitment comes as Israel prepares for the possibility of a much larger war with the Iran-backed Lebanese militant group Hezbollah. The Israeli military said in a statement Tuesday that operational plans were approved by the head of Northern Command to take offensive action against Lebanon. Today, rocket sirens sounded across northern Israel amid new attacks by Hezbollah. And overnight, Israel launched new strikes in southern Lebanon as the cross-border exchange of fire continues. Now, the big question is if and when this larger conflict will erupt. Diplomatic officials say there are efforts ongoing to avert a larger war, but that window is closing. Martha. Serious, very serious situation. Thank you, Trey. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.